In 2019, I attempted to thru-hike the Continental Divide Trail from Mexico to Canada, and failed. I didn't realize at the time that the decision to quit would haunt me, but being a person who doesn't normally quit things, of course it did. So, I naturally had to find a way to try again. Three years later, that opportunity came around. I arrived at the Mexican border filled with excitement, not just for the hike, but because I knew that for the next four months, I would experience the true freedom that only a through hike can bring. No job, no schedule, no meetings, no traffic, no societal box around my life. It was gonna be awesome. Tough, of course, but awesome. sound all day long <laughs> maybe it's some kind of cricket or grasshopper but all day long this weird alien whirring noise <laughs> I think it's kind of fun I think it's fun Such a loud bird. doesn't look super delicious, but you can push that algae aside and get water from lower in the tank, and it's actually fairly clear. Not too bad. Hiking with a guy named Towley, and we just found this structure here. Clearly a built wall. This is off trail. And then there's a little fireplace over here. built fireplace. That right in there is the fire and then there's a, a chimney ring at the top. Pretty cool. Now we're looking for a cave. Well we found the actual cave. <laughs> Tally did. 
up here on this hill. There's BLM signs around. You can see the scale of it with him standing there. Like a little rock wall here. There's a space over here. Chocolate in there. Space over here. And this is the view from above the cliffs. Pretty awesome. And over there's Pyramid Peak.